an assignment we're going to look at is called the hobby assignment. I'm going to post up the class. And here's where it's at. It's in Unit 5, Hobby Presentation Project. If you follow the directions in this unit here, it'll help you with all the instructions you need. Well, let's get going on this. So what are we doing? We're going to create a new presentation. We're going to save it as hobby underscore one underscore your name. Okay. So if your name's Susie, it's hobby one Susie. If it's James, it's hobby one James. Okay. Your presentation should contain all the following elements. You need three slides. The first slide should be a title slide. It has the name of the hobby in your name. You should have the second slide, the slide describing your hobby. You should at least put two facts on this second slide. The third slide should list why you like this hobby. And you should use a numbered or a bulleted format, one, two, three, four, five, or with bullets, okay? And format the text following the guidelines below, all right? So we're going to make sure that the title slide has at least the name of the hobby and the student name. The text of the hobby and student name are formatted to have at least three of the following. They list four things under here. It should be, you should have three of these on your title slide. Color, bold, italics, underline, and different sizes. So play with this and see what you come up with, but you need three out of these four, at least. Okay, slide two has the name of the hobby in the title box. For example, if this is about reading books, it should, your title should be reading books. If, the, if your hobby is dancing, the a slide for title two should be dancing. You should have a paragraph with two facts about your hobby. This is easy to figure out. If you don't know something, just Google it. Slide two has text that is an appropriate size for the audience. In other words, watch out for it being too small or too big, all right? Eyeball it, you should be able to read it easily. Once again, slide two has text that has been formatted to a font other than Arial. Okay, your default font is Arial. Just change it to whatever you like. Then you have slide three as a title box with a title. Okay, it has a bulleted or numbered list of five reasons why you like your high hobby. So I should see a title and five reasons why you like your hobby. Slide three has a text that's been formatted to a font other than Arial. Okay, so slide three is not going to be your standard font. So let's see what this looks like. First, we're going to do this in PowerPoint. So this is PowerPoint. How did I bring up PowerPoint? I clicked up my Microsoft button. I went to all programs. I drove down to Microsoft Office and I chose PowerPoint right here, the red um, icon with a P in it. Okay, when you if you're going to go to Open Office, it is also a red icon. It's, it's impressed, but we're gonna do PowerPoint here. So the first thing is what's my hobby? We'll put in here ice skating. My name, Miss Hadley. Okay, so I need two different sizes. So I'll just make this bigger. I can bump it up and I can change Calibri to something else. I'll go Algerian. So there I've changed something. Change the size. Change the font. So now I'm going to do bold. I can do this underline or italics. And I also can change colors. So see, I've, I have a choice of colors here that I cho can choose from. You can do what you'd like. 
So there you go. I did all four things. I made this bigger. I changed the font. I changed the font. I added a color. I put an underline in italics, and I made this one bold. So I did all four things. Let's bring up slide two. Okay, and this one, what are we making? We two sentences about our hobby. So my hobby is called ice skating. So that's the title. So a paragraph of two things about ice skating. Figure skating is one of the most popular events at the Olympics. With a little bit of practice and balance, you too should be able to be a good ice skater. Okay, now you see I've got a wavy red underline under this telling me that this is misspelled. So what do I do? I right click it and see it should be capitalize name of a person place or thing correct now what do i need to do with this i need to change the font so i just highlight the font i click this down and i just click another font right might as well do it with the title too so make a new slide the third one but why I like ice skating. It gets me out in the winter. It is good exercise. I have fun with my friends. There are many places you can go It doesn't take a lot of practice to get fairly good. Okay, so there's my five. You see it's automatically bulleted. If I wanted to have some fun, I could always change my bullets or I can make it numbered bullets. See up here where it says that the points, I could click over here. And make them numbered instead. It's up to you how you want to do it. You can push this down and choose a different kind of bullet, maybe. You have squares or, you know. There you go. That's it. So I go to File, Save. Save as. So I'm going to go into my desktop where I've got my um, your literacy folder and I call it hobby one Ms. Hadley now we'll do it in open office so once again I go into my button I go into all programs go into open office I click open office and press the red icon. So I click create. I'm going to close the properties pane. And I'm going to start right here. I'm going to put ice skating. Click to add text by Miss Hadley. Now, once again, we're going to make this a different size. We're just going to bump it up and we're going to put a bold and we're going to put an underline on it and we're going to make this one italics and we'll make this one a different color. Here we go. 
I add a slide. So I click this add a slide button. So what am I putting here? Facts about ice skating rights, ice skating. And um, we're going to add a couple facts here. Ice skating is very popular in the Olympics. It's a great way to keep in shape. Okay, so they want us to change it from REL. I click this, I click REL down, and just change, put something else in there. Very good. So now I have another slide. I just click add a slide. And this one's going to put in here reasons why I like ice skating. Gives me a chance to hang out with my friends. We roast marshmallows on the campfire afterwards. It's something to do in winter. It's great exercise. It is easy to get proficient in ice skating. So spell check marshmallows. A instead of an E. Spell check ice skating. They want you to put in two separate words. Okay, there you go. So what are we doing here? Changing the font, right? So I highlight it. Change it from REL to something else. Change this from REL to something else. And you are done. File. Save as. Um, put it in your computer literacy folder. You call it um, Hobby One. Enter your name. That's all there is to it.